Welcome back guys to another Storm Games base build. Um, today I am going to show off the vector building system. Uh, I noticed there's not too many vi videos online um, showing you what the vector building is capable of doing. Um, so I figured I'd give you a little rundown and give you a couple ideas of how you can build with it and, and what you can do with it. So, um, I want to start with the most common one that people use. Basically what vector building means is that you can usually when you uh, when you're building in Daisy, you, you have limited options on how to place things. Um, since snap building, you're, you're able to snap to walls, uh, and snap items to each other in certain areas, that kind of thing. But you couple that with the ability to tilt a wall or a door or everything, anything you can build, you can you can actually do this with. You can tilt. See this. As a garage door I actually laid down on its back. Um, <coughs> uh, the most common one people do with this, with the garage doors, are they tilt them left or right and then set them down onto the ground just a little bit, like that. And what this enables you to do is build a taller door frame. One of the common issues in DayZ is being able to get larger trucks inside your base, like the cargo Urals and um, the fuel trucks, that kind of thing, into your base. Well, with this, this actually solves the problem. Let me go ahead and upgrade this door. I think I got everything I need on me. I should. So. Now I've upgraded the door, and what this does is it enables the door to open this way rather than up. It opens outward or inward, depending on how you face the door. If I was to face it the other way, obviously it would open the other way. Um, and a lot, what a lot of people do is they put two of these side by side. They they tilt one left and tilt one right. Um, and put them next to each other and then they've got an extra wide extra tall doorway that's just two garage doors on their sides so that's that's the door that's one thing you can do with doors um, another thing I want to show you um, over here I actually I use the snap feature most servers have to snap two ladders together um, just to kind of show you what the, what else you can do with the door this is a regular door and now I've actually implemented it as a like cellar type door see um, imagine if this were going down into a base that was built in this area or um, maybe the terrain was up higher and then it kind of you build on the hillside or whatever so you build the ladder and then you build the you snap the door that's what I did I snapped the door I tilted it back on its back and then I snapped it to this ladder right here and it lays down just like that now another thing you can do let me go ahead and pull them well let's show you the metal floor metal floors are probably another popular one that people like to build with, with vector building. Um, metal floors, usually you, they, all you can do is you can place them. You can move them up, you can move them down. That's about it. Now, you can snap them, but check this out. If I go down here to degrees, and then select, and it will let you select 0 0.01 degrees which is minute. Um, 
so you can really get whatever angle you want to get but it has these quick references ones it's 510 or 515 45 and 90 um, obviously 90 being you know straight up and down which turns actually turns if I tilt this back bam that I just turned a metal floor into a wall a metal wall and on most servers metal floors are indestructible so now I've got an indestructible wall obviously there's no door I'd still have to place a center door but watch this if I go over here see how I've placed that wall on its end instead of straight out watch this if I snap whoops try that again please it's already on 90 and you need to remember that the degree setting you set it will stay on the one that you previously set it doesn't always reset so we'll tilt it back again and I don't even have to raise it up for what I want to do here all I want to do is snap it to that wall so hit the snap boom it snaps and now I've snapped it to a regular wall um, so there you go and then you can build that all the way around and because you got the garage doors already sideways I could build this all the way around and meet it with that garage door or maybe another one if I decided to put two of them there and you know there's that so I don't want to place this wall actually because I want to show you something else that's really popular to do with walls or with metal floors um, you can also do it with walls um, with cinder walls but metal floors are a little bit more practical I think Let's do a 15 degree angle and tilt that sucker backwards. Now watch this. I raise that up out of the ground and just set it into the ground just a little bit, just so it's just barely in the ground. Okay, now we have a ramp. And like I said, you can set this at any degrees you want. I've already moved, it's already at 15. Now if I wanted to, I could do it another 15. I could hit back again and it'll go another 15. And I can raise it up out of the ground. Put it down on the ground just a little bit. That way it's flush into the ground. Now I've got a ramp. Think of the things you can do with that. Building with a vector system is fun, let me tell you. Um, let me show you the wall here. I'll grab some cinder. And mortar. And like I said, I've placed that on its end, and you can actually still upgrade them. Boom. Now granted, you don't get as wide of a build as you normally would, but you get a much taller one. This is much taller than it would be if, it, if I had built it normal um, and I still can snap if I want to let me grab another cinder block actually you know what I'll show you with a door because you know when you build like that then you, you, you want doors so now you can see here this isn't quite on the ground all the way, but you can see how much taller the walls are. Um, but what I can do here is I can hit the snap button, snap it to it, and then turn the snap off, lower it down, lower it down, lower it down, and I always put mine just a smidge into the ground, that way there's no underhang or anything. Place it. And you just build a wall right next to a wall or door. 
right next to a vertical wall. Um, and there's that. Now, let me show you something else here. I've got... this way. Bring it up there. That snap feature. Put it down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go, let's go 45 degree angle and pitch it back. Place it. I'm have a little bit of trouble upgrading this one actually. Oh, there we go. Upgrade it. And now we've created a vault to the roof. Now, obviously, getting another wall up there and maybe vaulting it again so it's, you know, barn style or. What have you, or maybe going even taller with it if you wanted to. You can, but you're gonna, you're obviously, you're gonna have to build some sort of platform or scaffolding to get you up there. As you can see, there is a little bit of a gap, but it's still a solid, solid build there. Um, let me think what else can we do with vector building? What else? What else is really cool to do? Um, ah, buildings. Got a storage shed here. Okay. Watch this. Open that vector building. Pitch that sucker forward. Now this is a little tricky. Because it will... Uh, it's a little buggy. It's possible. Um, I notice... Actually, I think it only does that. When you do that, I think it's still got it on 45. So take it back down to 90. And let's pitch it back. Now, what I've done can actually see inside. <laughs> you can actually go. Uh, no, you can't go inside. Okay. But you could sink it into the into the ground backwards. Obviously, you don't want to do that with a storage shed because you need it the other way. So let's fix it and pitch back, pitch back. Now we've got it completely. And what we'll do is we'll just bring it just above the ground. Oh, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. It's a little tricky with the with the buildings, but you see what I was getting at. You can place it just above the ground there, and then basically you can walk on it, just as you would, but you could look down and access the, the gear out of it. Um, now that is something that you can do with saves also. I'll grab a safe out of here and show you guys. So we got a safe. Watch this. Vectors pitch left. Hear that. I got a sideways safe. If I wanted to I could place it inside a wall. Obviously it's gonna stick out the other side, but you know this is just to show you what you can do. Stick inside a wall and now you got a safe inside a wall. Sideways. think what else can we do with vector building? Yeah we don't care about that. I'm gonna be deleting all this anyway. So 
basically anything you can build, you can do this. You can change. Um, any wood, metal, cinder. Uh, here is an odd one. And I'm going to have to go to a different area to show you. But maybe, actually, let's delete the one that's here. And place another one. Okay, now what I can do is I can pitch back, pitch back. around. You get the idea. Now it's in a wall. <laughs> up, in, up in a wall. Um, I went ahead and canceled that because that, that would be a pain to delete. But you guys get the idea what you can do with vector building here. This is, I mean, your imagination is the limit of what you can do. And it really broadens what you can. Um, let me shut that door just so you can see how it actually does stop you going upstairs. See? Can't get up. On the other side here. Can't get down. It's just, matter of fact, you can't even walk. Yeah, it won't even let you walk on the wall. Um, I'd imagine you'd probably glitch out if there was walls on either side of that stopping you from kind of gliding off like I just did. So uh, there you go guys, there's uh, a little tutorial on vector building. If you have any other questions, I'd be happy to answer them in the comments below. Um, I've been playing with vector building for a few days now. I was on a server prior to uh, my current servers. A while back I had it and I had a lot of fun building with it and like I said your imagination is really the the limit when it comes to vector building because you can tilt you can tilt things forward backward upside down sideways diagonal um, if you can imagine a way you can place something it can be placed that way um, now like I said the pre-built pre-built buildings like the sheds and the outhouses um, that kind of stuff. Those are a little buggy when you're trying to place them certain ways. Um, your best bet is just to experiment with them. Uh, but everything else, at least on my server here, the Dark Havoc servers, everything else seems to be flawless. So come join us, Dark Havoc, um, Daisy Overpock. We've got three PvE servers, one PvP server. Um, if you mention me or hunt me down, my name is Sheriff Storm in game. Um, if you hunt me down, I will give you a build box, a level four build box, like you see here. Got all this, except for the AS50 and the Stinger, those don't come in it. But everything else does. Five brace cases. So much building stuff. The keys don't come in, obviously. But get a lot of stuff. So, yeah, just hunt me down. Tell another admin that I sent you, and we'll give you a we'll give you a level four build box just for joining Dark Havoc. So thanks for watching, guys. And like I said, if you have any other questions about vector building, please leave them below. Thank you.